we had our attorney pictures and we went and got some 3d ultrasounds of the baby <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to give you a 35 week pregnancy update. If you're new to the channel, hello, I am Denacy and I started this channel with my husband Ethan way back in the day whenever we were in college and first started dating. But we never really updated on our channel or anything until now whenever we started our little family here. So we are trying to post regularly at least once a week. 35 weeks pregnant. The baby is the size of a honeydew melon. He is between five and six pounds, but I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and he is measuring at six pounds. So he is on the larger side. I mean, he's about average, maybe just a little bit above. Uh, my appointment, as I said in my previous update, I've been struggling with high blood pressure, chronic hypertension throughout this whole pregnancy, and I've been on watch for preeclampsia. So far, everything has still been good. My blood pressure is still in run just a tad bit high, but not too much. Um, I've been having weekly appointments and ultrasounds, so I've had non-stress tests, which I explained. They monitor the baby and just to see if you have any contractions, and they monitor his movement just to see how his heartbeat is. Um, in the ultrasound, they look to see if he's practicing breathing and if he is moving. So you pretty much, it's like a 30 minute time frame that you go for the ultrasound and then they try to catch his breathing and then try to catch like, I think like six or seven movements within the 30 minutes. So, so far those have been good. Like I said, I am being induced at 37 weeks. So week after next on that Monday, the 16th, we will be at the hospital in labor. Well, not, I don't know if we'll be in labor yet because we're going in in the evening. They're gonna put a gel in there. So by the 17th, for sure, I will be in labor. We are definitely going to try and record that, but I don't know how much. I gotta see how the camera policies is. I think it's kind of crappy if they don't let us record our own delivery because I mean, people want that for memories and I definitely do. So my labor plan, for that is they offer a laughing gas which is like 50% I forgot what the gas is and a 50% oxygen so they pretty much just give you a mask and you take a hit of it whenever you need it so that's the route that I'm going to go if I need any pain management because I am being induced with the Cervidil and then with Pitocin so um, hopefully I'll just need a little bit of Pitocin and then the labor will progress on its own. But of course we'll see how that goes. Baby is definitely still head down. He is putting a lot of pressure on my area, like I said before. So that's good. Hopefully I will dilate some. They will check at my 36 weeks week appointment, which is next Friday. And we'll see how that goes. My mom will be in town on next Friday. so. That's exciting. And then my dad and my sister are coming that Wednesday after, well, the following Wednesday. So after I'll have the baby, so they'll get to meet him. Um, not much has changed symptom wise. Um, just more discharge because I guess he is putting pressure down there. And my cravings, I mean, eh, they're still there. I mean, the same ones, the Chick-fil-A, the bagels. I haven't really craved anything weird. I've been wanting sweets. So I have been kind of indulging in that, but not too much. We had our attorney pictures and we went and got some 3D ultrasounds of the baby and I will insert those here. see all his little features and the ultrasound tech was super nice we went we only did a 10 minute session and we were supposed to get a few pictures and a CD of 
whatever video and stuff that she got while we were there. And she was so nice. We were there for, I'd say, about an hour because since he's so big, he's like bundled up and his hands and feet were in front of his face. So she really had to like push on him and like get him to move. And he eventually, we got some nice pictures. She had us go and get something to eat and then drink a soda and then come back and he was, we got one good picture of his, like one clear one of his face, which was so, so cute. I will show you my bump. Definitely feel like it has changed a lot in appearance. As you can see, I feel like it, you can definitely tell that he's dropped. I feel like his bar was carrying a little bit higher. To me, it feels a little flatter, but, and smaller. But I guess it's normal. It's the bump from the front. My belly button is like, pokes out, but not really the same. This way. So yeah, this appointment, I had the group B stress strep test done. Um, if you're a mom, then you obviously know what that is, but I won't get into too much detail. I'll just say that if you do test positive for it, then during your labor, you'll have to have an IV, which is transmitting um, antibiotics into the uh, into your bloodstream so that it doesn't cross over to the baby when he is coming out vaginally. I'm not sure the results on that are yet. I'm guessing they'll tell me that when I go to my next appointment. At my next appointment, I will be checked to see where I'm at cervix wise and dilation wise. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I'll be dilated just, you know, just some, just some kind of progress so that way I'm not going into the labor with a super thick service cervix and it takes forever for labor to start so cross your fingers on that for me please and yeah so again no symptoms of preeclampsia besides the high blood pressure obviously so I'm still in the clear for that um, the doctor that I did see is the one that's going to be delivering me on that Tuesday and he let me off without any blood tests this week because everything has came back fine so far. So he's like, if you only if you feel like you need the blood test, then we'll do the blood test. And I was like, no, I think I'm okay because there's no protein in my urine or anything. I was just like, if I start getting headaches or something, obviously I will call and let you know. So that has been good. Um, so yeah, we'll have a baby in less than two weeks now. So that is really crazy we're in the process of cleaning up our apartment getting everything packed we got our baby bassinet and our stroller and our car seat i will show you guys that because i definitely want to do a baby haul after i get all this stuff just straightened up we're not really doing a lot here obviously because we are moving at the end of may so he'll only be here for like six weeks at the most so yeah, looking forward to getting back to North Carolina so we can get into a routine and settled and find our house, hopefully, because we are trying to buy a house. But we're just looking forward to our baby boy now, and I can't wait to be holding him and kissing him. You're so excited for that. But anyway, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. I noticed that we've had a few more subscribers and a few more views, so thank you so much. I'm so excited that you guys decided to join us on this journey. And if you're just coming across this channel, across this video, please consider subscribing. I hope that you guys will continue to join us and we will talk to you soon. All right. See ya. Bye.